Hey everyone, we have covered almost all the widgets in Tinker. We are left with a few, so let's just take a look at them. We will discuss the scale, scroll bar, list box and spin box. They are very easy to understand and there is nothing complex about them. So I'll just get all these widgets on the same screen and let's start writing the code. I'll write from Tinker import star. You don't need to import any separate module for these. Then I'll have my screen. I'll write win equals tk. And then I'll give in a title. I'll write win dot title. And let the title be scroll. So I'll add my first widget. I'll give the name scale. Have the variable scale. Equals scale. That's my widget. So it is like a slider that lets you pick a value and it has two methods, get and set. So let's just give the options for this. Where do I want the scale? I want it on my window. So I'll write win. And you have this from and to to specify the range of the slider. So I'll write from equals zero to 100. Okay. I'll give in a background, I'll give it to be light yellow, then a foreground, let it be black. You can give an orientation for vertical and horizontal, so I'll give an orient equals horizontal. Then I'll give in a label, so let the label be scale widget. There are many more options like the rough color, the slider relief, the kind of slider you want. You can give it a command, you can have a font description, you can have resolution, you have slider length, you can specify the length of the slider, then you can specify the state of it, you can have the cursor, then the border, etc. So we have given enough options and let's pack this widget. I'll write scale dot pack cool now i'll go to the spin box i'll write spin box equals spin box and for the arguments i'll give master equals win again we have from and to so from 0 to 10 you can also give in a negative number for from you can start from a negative number, you can go to a negative from number, but uh, there should be a difference, there should be a positive difference between them. So you can give in accordingly the range, uh, but we'll do it from zero. And then I'll give in a background color, I'll write PG equals light gray. FG equals orange. And let me give in a font. I'll give the font to be Arial 12 Italic. It's just a number. Uh, you can even not give in the font. For spin box too, we have a lot of options. Some are same as the scale widget, but there are some things that are different. So you have button up relief and button down relief. Then you have this increment parameter. It can be a float. Then you have this x scroll command option so you can give in a command that you want to take place when you scroll through the values that is when you increment or decrement the numbers in the spin box and i'm done with the widget so i'll pack this i'll write spin box dot pack then i'll go on to the scroll bar i'll write scroll bar equals scroll bar so for argument i have win as master so let's just keep the scroll bar simple uh, it'll just take up a side and i'll pack the scroll bar i'll write scroll bar dot pack side equals right fill equals y 
So I'll pack this at the right side of the screen and I want to fill the Y axis completely with the scroll bar. Okay. Then I'll get my list. So I'll have this variable list equals list box. This is another widget. And when as master. Now what I want to do is I want to scroll through the list as I move my scroll bar. So I'll write y scroll command equals scroll bar dot set so i'll set the values according to this y scroll command okay now i'll also give in a font i'll give it to be georgia 20 it's for the list okay and i'll have the background color to be sky blue cool now there are many methods associated with the list box widget uh, to insert the values in a list box, we would use the insert method. So what I'll do is I'll write for i in range 51. I'll just make a list with 51 lines and I'll write list.insert end. So I need to give in the index and end would represent the point immediately after the last character entered by the user. So end for the index and for the element, I'll write string i plus dot. We are checking the list and scroll bar together. Okay. Now outside the for loop, I'll pack this widget. I'll write list.pack side equals right, fill equals y, expand equals true. Okay, so that'll give me a good format. Now I want to configure the scroll bar again because I want to add the list to it. Okay, so I'll write scrollbar.config. We have already discussed the use of config config is basically for overloading and i'll write in the argument command equals list dot y view okay so this tells the scroll bar that whenever the scroll bar is scrolled through the list should also move along the y view okay the y axis now i can call the main loop i'll write win dot main loop and let's just run this and check out all our widgets if they're working together and working properly as we have arranged them so i have my scale widget and you can see how this bar moves and gives us values then you have your spin box you can increase the value first and then decrease it but the values will only go from 0 to 10 we also have the scroll bar, this thin line along the right of the screen. And as you scroll, as you move the scroll bar, you can see the list moving up and down along this. We have the list elements as we specified them. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you understood the widgets. Thank you.